In the constraint layout, each view has a constraint. Each constraint defines the view's position along the vertical or horizontal axis. Each view must have at least one constraint for each axis. When you drop a view into the editor, it initially doesn't have any constraints. Each constraint represents a connection or alignment to another view or parent layout. If I run this program, you would see it's in the center. Now, if I decide to remove all the constraints, to remove a constraint, you can just go to the editor and click on the X. You remove the left, remove the right, remove the bottom, move the top. So now it's just floating on the editor because it didn't have any constraints. So it just placed it where it could place it. So also, if I drag and drop a button inside here and I decide to run it, You can see the button overlapping the text view. There is no arrangement, so they're just overlapping each other. But let's say I want to have a text view here. Put here. And up. The distance is stated in decimal pixels. You would read more about decimal pixels in the supplementary materials. So now we have our text view there, we can bring our button. Ah, being stubborn, huh? We want it to be in the center. So let's run this and see what happens. Something tricky will happen now, and I'll tell you why. If you look, the button yes is in the center but it's above the text view. Why? This is because even though that the button is constrained horizontally, there is no vertical constraint. So I want to tell Android Studio to put this under the text view. And I can increase the space 32, or I can manually give it a larger space 64. Or I just Drag it down. So if I run this now, it sets. So it works. We would be using constraints layouts as we move on in this course. As with other things in life, the more you use the constraint layout, you will get more comfortable with it. You also learn more tricks on how to design more beautiful layouts.